So it is a cold, wet, rainy day here in South Texas. And today I'm gonna to be planting some root veggies. So if you guys remember this bed here, I just put in. And I put a bunch of compost in and I let it sit. And I said I was gonna be planting some lettuce, but I think I changed my mind on that. I'm not gonna be planting lettuce here. I'm gonna plant it right here. And that's because this bed has garlic. And garlic is one of those vegetables that really likes high nitrogen fertilizers and same thing with lettuce. But root veggies do not. In fact, you don't want to put high nitrogen fertilizers or they will only grow their green vegetation and not their roots. And since we're harvesting the roots, we want less nitrogen. So I've got all my markers here. I always do. I always do the markers first and I lay out where I'm going to put these. Most of these root veggies don't need a lot of space. So I'm going to start with the tender sweet carrot. I'm going to put it pretty close. It says two to four inches. I mean, I've got about three inches from the side, so that's fine but two to four from each row. So next, I think I'm gonna do, so that's the tender sweet. We'll put the rainbow next to it. That's about four inches, I would say. Yep, so there's four inches. Next, I think in between that, because I can get those super close because I'm gonna harvest. So the radishes are 30 days before harvest. So once I harvest these, I mean, these will harvest so quickly that the carrots will barely be any size and it won't be messing with the carrots. So I'm gonna get those really close. And now I'm gonna put the Parisian carrots, which also don't grow very big. I'll put those right there, really close. So that way I've got, I'm utilizing a lot of space here. Now let's try the beets. Bears eat beets. So I've got some beets here as well. They require, it says two inches, but I'm gonna say, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a little more space here. Let's bring all this back actually. All right, so beet there, let's see. Let's go back with a, another Parisian carrot. We can go pretty close. Let's do some French breakfast radishes next. And now I'm gonna do a little further out cause I'm gonna do a double row, two inches between the row, like I did in another bed and that worked out really well. So I'm gonna do that. Let's try a turnip next. And those require, it says two inches, but man, they're growing big. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave a fair amount of room because I've got some and I'll show you really quick. Right there is a turnip. That's on the far end there, that's one turnip. And it's huge. It's taken up, you know, 10 to 12 inches. So I'm gonna give a little more room with that. Maybe even a little further, just to ensure. Let's do more of the French breakfast with that spacing there, just to really make sure that once those pull up, I've got a lot of room with those turnips. We can do one more set of turnip there. That'll work out perfectly. That'll give a lot of space in between. And then right in the center here, so I've got these bars and there's bars down this one too, not on this one, they're just staggered alternating. And so I don't want anything big that's gonna get hindered by the bar, the, growth but these little cherry bell radishes are like this big so that'll be fine next let's do some more carrots let's get the rainbow there next to it we're gonna two to four inch get those tender sweets and get these cherry bells really close so then we can get these tender sweets close and then the rainbows right there. Boy, still got a lot of room here. Boy, I'm gonna be growing a lot. What do we wanna plant more of? I mean, I like carrots. You know, let's stagger the growth. So we've got enough here. We can always plant more carrots down there and that'll allow us to harvest these and then harvest those later. Perfect, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make my holes here. I just put out this pitchfork so I can keep these rows pretty even. Before I would just make a trench which you can do. Um, and then I sprinkled the seeds. I think I'm gonna try making sure that I've got these at a two inch spacing. So we're gonna make the holes. That's about two inch there. Yep. And if you haven't seen them before, those are some carrot seeds. Oh, and by the way, I usually like to do this. Today is November 25th. And I'll wait for these to sprout so you guys can see them sprout. Now carrots take a long time to sprout. All right, so I'm gonna Get two to three seeds per hole. A couple of these holes I got four, or <laughs> some of them five, so it happens. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and cover these. All 
we didn't utilize all the seeds so let's put some back boy this came with a ton of seeds i think it was like two dollar and fifty cents i really like this company and i'll link below where i get majority of my seeds they're really high quality too they show the germination rate when they were packaged or when they were germinated to test 85 percent germination rate these were germinated in 2022 so i mean they're getting a little older now but i had no trouble with those over there so do our holes same thing no difference in carrot seeds next are these cherry bells they also say two inch nah these are super small they're like one inch I, I did not notice when I planted them over here any hindering between them and I had a couple that were pushing just an inch together so I'm going to do this every one and a half inches or so so radishes are much easier to plant the seeds are bigger easier to see if they went in the hole all right Persian carrot these also are quite small I was calling for no rain after 3 30. well it just stopped i mean i'm not afraid of rain, rain but i also don't want to uh, get my seed packets all wet so that could be bad all right so these beets i got some microgreen beets i got a ton of beet seeds here and the beets look a little different <laughs> but don't need to plant as many per hole these are big but what's nice is with these bigger seeds is now i know i'm planting exactly two per hole and i always do two and i know i'm putting two in because that'll ensure that i get a sprout or at least give a better chance of getting one of these to sprout on the packet it says there's an 80 they had 84 percent sprout rate so or 82 i think it said now that was last year but even so even if these go down to 50 percent chance is pretty high with two per hole well it's starting to rain again just light off and on rain here more parisian carrots all right so i'm doing something a little different these are fresh french breakfast radishes i'm gonna do i'm gonna bring this over just slightly like that we're going to do one row, two row, one row, two row. And that's about an inch to two inch spacing and a grid here, basically. That's what I'm doing. These are so fast to grow that I don't have to worry about them impeding in anything else. I mean, it can be right up against something else. Oh, I got a cover. The rest of these and it really is amazing what kind of harvest you can get off of these now i'm planting three in each hole because i'm going to actually not even thin them out they are going to be three in each one of these spaced out about two inches apart and i did this last time and boy i got an incredible harvest guys huge harvest they do not impede the growth of each other they just push each other aside somehow now turn up on the packet it says two inches that is absolutely not true so i'm going to give this plenty of space between each other and there we go those are turnip seeds very small they almost look like uh spinach seeds i think i'm gonna get try to get two per okay so it has been raining off and on even though it says that it should not be so i'm gonna call it a day and i'm just gonna plant this and i i 
have planted one of every type, at least one of every type that I wanted to plant. This is going to be all the same type of vegetables as right here. So I think I'm going to secession plant where I start here in two weeks, I will come back and plant again. Okay, I'll plant most of these. I might rearrange these a little bit to be able to get one of each type, one row of each type of plant. And then I will secession plant another two weeks right there. And that'll get me root veggies periodically throughout the winter here. Hopefully they don't die back in the really deep winter here if we get some heavy freezes. But that's why I'm planting these. Every single one of these is November, guys. It's late November and I'm planting vegetables. But all of these are rather quick to grow. I mean, especially the radishes. Those should come up before we have any trouble with frost. But also, every single one of these can handle light frost, even some of them some heavy frost. For instance, carrots. I hear the greens of carrots can handle some places say down to 20 degrees, some say down to 15 degrees, but I would say right in between there is pretty pretty accurate, so they can handle pretty cold. I'm in Texas. Likelihood is very small that I'm going to get any freezes like that in Texas. But if I do, the roots themselves, so the greens might die back a little bit or get some damage to them. Of course, I could always just cover this with some greenhouse cloth, but the roots should stay good as long as the soil itself doesn't cool down super cold, they should be good. At least some short freezes, they should be all right. If it's sustained for a long period of time, again, it's Texas, likelihood is very small. But if it is sustained for like a week straight, then there might be some damage, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So I think we're good. So we'll come back in a couple days once all these sprout and we'll see how they go. All right, well, it is December 1st and check this out. I just was walking past here. I've got a bunch of little sprouts of this, uh, the, the radish, actually both kinds of radish. So this is the baby bell, I think, cherry bell, whatever they call it. And then this is the French breakfast. And so that's pretty exciting. I got those sprouting just a couple days later. Now for the carrots and some of these other veggies, it's going to take a little bit longer for them to sprout. These are the quickest to sprout. So in the next couple days, we'll see some sprouts come up. So it is December 7th, and pretty much everything here has sprouted. Not all of the carrots have, but we've got a couple of them finally sprouting. I've got a lot of these beets sprouting, but definitely the radishes. I mean, those are so quick. So I'll wait a couple more weeks, and then I'll start planting down this way and get more so I can secession plant. So in the next couple weeks, I'll give you guys an update on how these are doing. You guys can see the growth process. I'm really interested with these beets. I've not grown these ones before. So I've gotten these beets, a big packet of seeds, and they're for microgreens, growing microgreens. So I haven't seen how those will do. And they don't even tell you what type of beet they are. So I don't really know what they're gonna produce, what kind of bulb they're gonna produce, if, if anything. Maybe it's just for the greens. I'm not sure. I wanna give it a try and see how those go. Well, thanks for watching everyone. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. I make a video almost every single day. Also hit that bell notification for future video updates. And if you could hit the like button, it really helps out the channel. I will see you guys on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.